Oh, what are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm okay. Holy shit. I'm the director of the show. I'm a PhD student at LSU School of Theater. I'm just a big fan of this play, right? Hansel Jung. When I found this play, I was like, yes! I just love this play so much. I'm from South Korea and as an international, I've always wanted to talk about diversity and this play tells us everything. Asianist, motherhood, LGBTQ, the existing power balance in the US, the new concept of family, and eventually where we live in the current era. As an artist and a scholar, I feel kind of responsibility to create a work that talks about all of us and bring more diverse audience to theater. I don't want this production to just stay in academia. Part of what we are doing is making theater for everyone, so I want to bring more community engagement and by watching this show, I want people to be equipped with a broader perspective so people of color and people of LGBTQ. So please come and watch. We love this show, I promise. I'm playing the character Ash. Ash is a member of a non-binary couple and they adopt a child from Korea. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to do this because as an international student, I've witnessed that kind of neo-post-colonial idealism of African countries or of colonized countries um, or countries under the imperial thumb where a white savior mentality kind of takes over and people feel the need to rescue and integrate um, these children into their communities. It's a good thing because it, um, it gives these countries a chance to expand their budget, but at the same time, I feel that by removing these children from their homes, it robs the country of potential leaders, potential engineers, and people who can give back to the country's society, economically, politically, and culturally. So this story is, it strikes that chord in me where it makes me ask that question um, about how important it is to raise a child in their home and what difference it makes when you remove a child from their culture and raise them in another one, what kind of identity crisis that causes in the child. And that's just one of the subjects that this play deals with, but that's the one that's nearest and dearest to my heart. Once again, I'm Sarah Nansubuka, and I can't wait for you to come see the play. Uh, I like this play because it showcases what I normally feel like growing up in Louisiana, surrounded by people not my skin color, not my ethnicity, but I'm first generation American. So it's kind of adapting to this new environment, just how Genu the wolf does in this play, and just creating new bonds with people I would never imagine meeting in my life if I was born in Vietnam. So this is a great opportunity for me as a person to grow myself and kind of relate back to Jinu and how he tries to adapt to his environment and how he becomes a better person with a better uh, version of himself. So I'm excited for this play and uh, I'm excited for everybody to come see it. <laughs>